This is Valley Center TV on Monday, April 4th, 2016. This is David Ross, editor of The Roadrunner, bringing you the headlines from the pages of this week's paper. The board of the Valley Center High School Foundation would like to extend their thanks to the community and volunteers for another successful Jaguar auction this last Saturday. This event is so important to help our kids in local schools. A special thanks to all the auction donors. Check this week's Valley Roadrunner for photos and details of the event. Here's a list of the auction's key sponsors. The honorary mayor's race is in full swing, and one of the events is the Throwdown Thursdays that are held every Thursday at Hilltop Winery from 4.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. These usually pit the chamber candidates Charlie Smith and the VC Community Aid Group's candidate John Yeager. Other candidates can participate, however, and sometimes there can be three, four, or five other candidates. There is a $10 suggested campaign contribution, which includes food and no host wine. There will be no throwdown on April the 21st due to the chamber sundowner that evening. Local Boy Scout Troop 619 is having a garage sale April 9th at the gas station at Colgrade and Valley Center Road. The garage sale helps pay for the campouts, Boy Scout camp, and different supplies for the troop. Hours are from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. For donations to the garage sale, please contact Virginia or Deli at the information on your screen. The official grand opening of the Valley Center Farmer's Market will be this Thursday, April 7th, 3 to 7 p.m. at the Valley Center Community Center. There will be farmers, bakers, and specialty vendors of all kinds from around the area. A variety of the vendors will be there for the first Farmer's Market in Valley Center in several years. In the event of rain, the market will be rescheduled. Valley Center Art Association invites Valley Center artists to contribute paintings, photographs, and three-dimensional art for a two-day exhibit, Valley Center Faces and Places, Tuesday, May the 24th, and Wednesday, May the 25th. The exhibit is planned to coincide with the VC Library's Carnival on Wednesday, May the 25th, in celebration of Valley Center Days. The art exhibit will be open to the public Tuesday afternoon and Wednesday from 9.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. Paintings, photographs, and sculptures should be depicting faces and places in Valley Center. Artists are invited to submit their work at the VC Library Community Room on Tuesday, May the 24th from 9.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. Art must be picked up at 6 p.m. on Wednesday, the May to the 25th. Artists will be asked to fill out a release form for the Valley Center Art Association and Library when they submit their art on Tuesday. Sign-ups for Mutton Buston have begun. One of the most popular parts of the Valley Center Stampede Rodeo is mutton busting. When little bronco busters try out their skills on sheep, it's exciting with plenty of thrills for the little ones. Children must be between four to seven years of age and weigh 50 pounds or less to participate, and their parents are required to sign a waiver. Entry fee is $40. A Valley Center couple, the O'Connors, may have seen UFOs moving about the sky over Valley Center Sunday night, March 27th. Retired U.S. Air Force Major Dennis L. O'Connor told the Roadrunner, quote, I don't know what they were, but my wife and I saw about six lighted objects moving in the sky above Valley Center area last night, about 7.30 p.m., unquote. O'Connor added, they were bright lights moving from the north to the south and then turned east and went out of sight. These were not normal aircraft red and green lights. Took a couple of pictures with my phone, moving a pretty good clip that does resemble small planes or helicopters. The retired major concluded, quote, I have no idea what they were, so I call them UFOs which to me is what they are until someone can explain them. Maybe you will hear from others." Unquote. The most recent UFO sighting in the area occurred last November 24th, when several Palma Valley residents living just north of Valley View Casino reported seeing a UFO, described as a, quote, green flying orb, flying over Palma Valley with much slower than U.S. Marine helicopters giving a chase. The Friends of the Valley Center Library will hold their 37th annual meeting celebrating the centennial of the Valley Center Library, 1916 to 2016. 
This will be held on Sunday, April the 17th, 2 p.m. in the library community room. The public is invited. Refreshments will be served. Following a brief business meeting, they will present Valley Center Highway to the Stars, shown for the first time in 60 years. This vintage color film features scenes of Valley Center from 1952, including homes, stores, schools, horse shows, and more. Commentary will be by Robert Lerner, Valley Center Historical Society, and musical accompaniment by Mike Klingbeil. Did you know you can safely recycle your batteries for free by taking them to 14 San Diego County Library branches, including the Valley Center Library? Just bring them to the battery drop-off bins located inside the 14 branches. The libraries primarily collect standard alkaline batteries, C's, D's, AA's, AAA's, 9 volts, you name it. But they can also take rechargeable batteries. Lithium batteries must be bagged separately. You can recycle at the VC Library. The information about the Valley Center Library is located on your screen. A1 Irrigation's Customer Appreciation Day and Business Expo will be held Saturday, April 16th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at A1 Irrigation. Many area businesses will be participating. If you'd like to be one of them, contact Stuart at 760-749-1213. Interested in promoting your business? Looking to expand to a new market? Or just want to support your local newspaper? We're here to help! Roadrunner Publications has numerous platforms of media available that can help you with just that. From the Valley Roadrunner, to the Escondido Times Advocate, to the Boulevard Magazine, Valley Center Magazine, and more. Give me a call and I can walk you through all your options to fit your business needs. We're offering great discounts and even more if you want to bundle with multiple products. Remember, if you advertise in any of our print, we offer free online advertisements within our numerous websites. I can be reached at 760-749-1112. That's all for today. Please let us know what you think about this program. See you next time, and in the meantime, look for the latest news in the Valley Roadrunner and online at valleycenter.com.